So you want to be a music major? Should you go and do jazz studies or get a music ed degree? Stay tuned. Rich Kettner, welcome to Starting the Guitars. I thought I would share this story because I've seen this come up several times over the course of my career. I am a retired band director, or instrumental music teacher. I taught for 31 years in California, but I've been retired now for six years. When I went to college, I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship as a guitar player because I could read music. When I got to school and auditioned for a jazz band, I got into the top band. And what I quickly found out was that the best players in this band were all music ed majors. None of them were jazz majors. There were one or two performance majors, but the very best players tended to all be music ed students. And in talking to a college band director, his theory was kind of like, get the music ed degree, almost like an insurance policy. If you decide you want to perform, you can always go from, after your four year bachelor's degree, go to another school, get your master's degree, maybe get that in jazz studies. And then you can perform if you'd like to, or you can then teach at the college level later down the road. And there were several guys in our band that I realized did that later. Some went on and played professionally. Others went on to teach at the university level. I started my college journey as a jazz major, and I quickly found out what that would entail, and I was just overwhelmed. I got in because I could read music, and play single lines and comp somewhat, I wasn't much of a soloist at all. And when I finally realized what it would entail to become a jazz musician, I was so overwhelmed, I decided, nope, I'm going to switch to music education. And I kind of a unique background. I came from, before college, I came out of the Marine Corps. I was in the Marine Corps band for four years. I went in as a trumpet player, but after about a year and a half in, I switched from trumpet to French horn. I was already a guitar player. I had really decided what I wanted to do was be a guitar player. And I was very fortunate where what I was able to do was play the horn during the day and then put it aside. I wasn't really a serious or devoted horn student and spent all night playing my guitar. Well, it's time for college. I auditioned to get a scholarship on guitar, but then the band director finds out I play French horn. He goes, you play horn? I said, well, not very well. He goes, hey, if you play well enough to play fourth horn parts, because in most bands or orchestras are the first, second, third, fourth horn. If I play well enough to play fourth horn parts, I can give you some more money. So I was still enlisted. I went back to my base and talked to the one real horn player in our band. And I said, hey man, I need you to give me a lesson and show me how to do this correctly because I was kind of fudging, kind of cutting corners. I wasn't really playing uh, the horn as a horn player. I was kind of doing, using more trumpet technique on it. Went back and auditioned, and he said, you good enough. And I got some more money to do that. So again, so I get to school as a jazz major, and what I ended up doing then was switching from jazz to music education, where French horn became my prominent instrument. And I was able to study French horn with the New Orleans Symphony horn, you know, who was a great teacher and a great player, as well as doing guitar. I played professionally at nighttime on guitar and I played in the school jazz band, but my focus kind of switched to music education. And uh, I've never regretted that. And, uh, but I have seen people, I guess the bottom line is this, as far as getting a performance degree, if you're only gonna get a bachelor's, being a jazz major made no sense. You get out, they give you a certificate you're not gonna to go to a gig, no one's gonna say, hey, we need this guitar player. Where's your certificate or where's your diploma? They don't care about a diploma. All they're gonna, they don't care what school you went to. They wanna hear you play, play something. And either you can cut it and there's a pocket and a groove and it feels good, or you can't. That piece of paper means nothing. You might as well use it for, you know, to blow your nose or throw it away. It's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna open any doors for you. And uh, sadly, I saw guys when I was a student in college, came in and they had been like rock players, I guess in high school, you know. I was four years older than because again, I was been in the Marine Corps, but they came in and they were okay rock players, not even great rock players, but jazz, they knew next to nothing. And the only option was to do a performance as classical or a jazz major. There was kind of no other commercial music thing in there. And these guys were definitely not jazz, not jazzers. 
Um, whatever they played sounded much more like coming from rock or blues based. And they just didn't have the chops. So I thought that they'd get out of school and that degree would just be wasted money essentially. So all that to say, if any young people check this video out and you're thinking of doing that, I'd encourage you to think long and hard about maybe getting a degree in music education. Doesn't mean you have to teach, but you always have that to fall back on if you'd like to. Great example, when I was in college, again in my jazz band, Victor Goins is a fine tenor sax player, but also clarinetist who plays with Winter Marsalis at Lincoln Center. And Victor's gone also to do other things, I think at uh, Eastman School of Music or New England Conservatory, one of the two. I mean, he's like a big hotshot guy now. He got a degree in music education, even though he really wanted to perform. When we were in college together. I was in the same band with him. I remember he was friends with Brantford and Wynton Marsalis. He grew up with those guys in the same hood, you know? And But they broke and they were big. Just as we were in school, they were just taken off. And um, Victor was really shedding like crazy to get his chops together. And he was still working through stuff. You know, he was, he played way better than me, but he was not in the same league with Winton and those guys. But he worked and worked and after this degree, he went, I think got his master's degree, taught at a local school, and eventually ended up where he's now with Winton. And he plays incredible. And uh, so that's just a perfect example of someone having a music ed degree, but still performing, having that background. And then when you got a master's degree, you're able to teach at a college or university level. So if anyone's here checking this out and you're a young person, I'd say talk to your parents, talk to people you respect, your band director, other musicians you might know, and be a little leery of faculty at universities. I saw this with my buddy's two young sons. They both went to uh, Northridge a School in California. And they were kind of both in a back, you know, jazz kind of performance thing. And teachers, they're like, yeah, man, just do performance. Just go to go for it, do it. Now, these guys had not done that. They apparently had got degrees where they could teach because they're teaching at this university. And you have to tell this young kid to do that. It's like putting all your eggs in one basket and assume that you're going to be able to get a gig doing what you want to do. You know, you got to be realistic. And if you play really well, there are thousands and thousands of other people out there competing for those same gigs. And I think now, here in the 21st century, it's even tougher to do that than it was maybe in the 1980s. You know, from what I hear, people talking about the music business, it's very, very, excuse me, very, very different than it was back then. And opportunities, there are opportunities out there, but it's much more challenging. Kind of like a young kid that wants to become a professional athlete. If you're being realistic with yourself, you know, a football player or a basketball player, you look at the millions of kids that are out there want to do it. You can get to the college level. How many make it there? Then the pros, how many make it there? It's just such a small pool. There's a chance, but, you know, some of it is luck as well. With musicians, it's definitely that. You have to have the chops together. You have to be ready for your opportunity. But then it can be this luck where you fall into with a certain group of people or someone hears you. It's going to be, man, that guy plays great. And then they call you and ask you to do this and that and lead one thing to another. I've heard countless stories like that, but you have to already have your chops together. You know, you never know. That's why some people will say, I never turned down any gigs. Anything I got, I did. Because you never know who you're going to meet and what that's going to lead to. So I hope this helps some. And uh, again, you know, talk to someone that you respect and trust and try to be objective about your ability level and maybe your career goals and hope some of this might help. Okay, all the best. Enjoy the journey.